Ladies and gentlemen, this is an amateur lightweight contest and will be contested over three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This amateur mixed martial artist has a, perfect, has, has a record of two wins and no defeats. Representing the Forge, ladies and gentlemen, Jake Williams! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist has an amateur record, two wins, one defeat. He represents Fighting Fit Manchester. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cage, Christian Sola! Our referee, Mr. Nico Joka. Second battle of the night, amateur lightweights. Christian Soda in the red corner. Black trunks, red trim. And his opponent, Jake Williams. Blue corner, black shorts, blue trim. Easy work, Chris. Unbeaten so far. Easy. Two annoys, Williams. One and one for Soda. So same amount of uh, experience in there. Easy work, Easy. Yeah, well, again, tonight, the, the card tonight is one of, without doubt, one of the best regional cards I've seen in years. Incredibly, incredibly tight fights right down the card, including here the second fight of the night. Two and one versus two and oh, two good camps being represented. Mr. Nico Joke is about to start us off. Oh, nice darting right there to open up for Soda and gets himself into a really strong clinch position on the fence. Head, same side as his underhook, underhook good position. Got just got to be careful. Those knees don't stray a little bit low. But referee Nico Joka, well on that. Yeah, straight on top of things. I do remember being um, impressed with Soda's cage work last time, actually. Yeah, he's he's a, a strong young athlete, happy to kind of embrace that grind and make it a little bit make it a little bit ugly first. Yeah, it's just a lot of things. You know, technically correct to put him in a good position. Um, and allow him to attack. You see, he keeps attacking that inside trip and gets it. Like it didn't have to exert a ton of effort to get that position. Straight away though, Williams getting his back to the cage. Yeah, nice knee to the body, which you missed as you just looked down, Steve. Ah, unbelievable. Yeah, if it wasn't on the ground, I don't get so excited. It's got Halfway up, does it count? <laughs> And then Good. it also takes a bit of savvy to know when to break as well. You know, swap a pair of jabs there, but knowing when you're fighting a losing battle on the fence if you disengage. Quick shot from Williams, what heavy sprawl. Oh, Soda. lovely combination there landed by Soda. And the knee, and then changes levels. Tries to get underneath the hips. Yeah, beautiful work in the transition. Williams wasn't really ready for that. You know, he was, um, he was predicting something else, and so it has gone from a wrestling exchange straight into striking, straight into wrestling again, making it look seamless. Yeah, chipping away with those little shots. Good work again, though, from Williams to turn off the cage. Yeah, and both guys sort of shot at the same time there. Just height-wise, look like Soda just managed to get a little bit underneath him, which has um, allowed him to get into the more dominant position again. We're happy to continue pressuring. pressuring. Williams up against the cage of Soda. And he... Yeah, he knows he had success uh, with the takedown the first time, so he feel pretty confident he can get that again. Oh, looking for a flying push kick. Bit straight up into a takedown. Yeah, it just seems like he's got Williams kind of hesitating a little bit, just that split second of hesitation. Yeah, and it, you know, it's something I always say to, uh, to young fighters coming through. You've got to remember, we're training different ranges, but MMA has to be a seamless game, and that's where Soda's got the edge at the moment. He is got moving between the ranges quicker, which is putting his opponent on the back foot and allowing him to get ahead in these, uh, in these transitions. Looking to try and recover guard there, and then a scramble to his knees from Williams. Yeah, solid first round, one in the books for um, Soda. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Williams, you know, by no means out of this, but he's, um, yeah. What, what do you, you're in the corner now for the Forge. What do you, 
what are you asking Williams? Is it just a case of you have to be first? Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know what his skill set's like everywhere, but it just seems in the wrestling exchanges um, and on the fence, he's sort of coming off second best. He looks to be a bit, uh, a bit taller, potentially have a bit better reach, you know, rather than staying straight in front, you know, hitting and moving a little bit more and then looking for the opportunities off the back of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, he hasn't done anything too much wrong. Um, the only thing that has not gone his way is that I think just so there's just been a split second ahead in the transition. Well, six minutes left to change the the tone of this fight for Jake Williams. Christian Soda, you'd think second verse same as the first, please. Just keep mixing it up, keep pressuring. Yeah, absolutely. He'll be uh, pretty confident after that first round. Never, uh, never troubled much. Nice long, long work there. Just again, you uh, you negate any sort of reach advantage you have if you go straight backwards. Um, needs to try and use a lot of movement, but I was just about to say he did well. Oh, nice knee to the body the there. Oh, and a lovely trip in the side control here. And he's got he's got some time to work. Yeah, beautiful work that to see that standing leg there ready to be swept. Got himself down into a really strong side control position. Yeah, he's got knee on the bear's gonna try and slice over into that full mount, you'd have thought. Williams has the benefit of being right in front of his coaches, though. Perhaps be able to talk him through this. Yeah. This Some, bad position. Sometimes, um, you know, being underneath side control and offense is uh, a little bit easier than, let's say, for, for Soda to maintain his position there. Rather be yeah. have a, a half guard and be able to control the bottom leg. Chris, there's nothing stopping the yes. leg Mitchell's leg there getting up to his knee, just yep. as he did at that point. Well, he, he threatened, it looked like he was threatening a little bit of Soda, who's now decided, yeah, I'll just stay on the back. Yeah, strong <laughs> work, riding him from that turtle, you know, returning him back down every time he tries to, uh, to get back up. So. He's looking for the arm here? Yeah, he's going to fly for it, I think. Oh, yeah, he was working well from the turtle, he gets back to it. He said, uh, no real need for to go anything rash there. Obviously wanted to finish, but I like this position for him. Weighing nice. heavy, Matt returns, punch is coming up and under. Yeah. Heavy knee to the heavy knee to the thigh. It just he, he's staying busy and and keeping Williams sort of guessing what the next attack's gonna be, whether it, it's gonna be the grappling, the wrestling, or, or taking the shot. Look at his trap the arm as well. Good, you know, good training, putting everything together, going from uh, his striking, his ground and pound, to his wrestling, to his um, positional exchanges. Looking to try and chip away again here. But he wants that, uh, almost like he wanted to get the um, the inside wrist control on that far side. As his, uh, if Mitchell posts up there, he has to post up to get up. He has to get up on his right elbow, and you see Soda wants him to get up on that so he can post with his right arm, but uh, control his right arm. Sorry. If he, can and get, it, if he can get his right arm through, that's exactly what I wanted, that inside wrist. And he's been looking yeah. for that for the last 30 seconds. He's finally got it. Obviously, Kit takes one of his opponent's arms out of play, allows him to... Uh, nice knees there. to the body there. Yeah. Good work from Christian Soda. Yeah, another strong round there from the uh, fighting fit man, has to be said. Oh, though, again, Williams, though, not here to just make up the numbers. I love, again, it, we've seen tonight, if, if even in the first fight, there were times that if you wanted, if, if, if they wanted to capitulate, if they wanted a reason to find a way out, he could have found it. It's the same in these rounds. And Williams has, Williams has kept himself in this. He's got three minutes to put his stamp on the fight. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, two rounds down, these, uh, these, kinds of final three minutes are a real test of character as much as anything else you know it's uh it could be it could come out accept that he's losing this fight and he's you know he's up against it and just allow it to happen and allow himself to lose or he could come out with a bit between his teeth and look to try and uh, try and win the fight because with three minutes left there's always that chance looks to me like he's come out with the bit between his teeth he, straight to the center of the cage 
Nikajok have just asking him to step back for a moment. Here we go, three minutes left to separate. Jake Williams again, the Forge man in the blue shorts. Christian Soda fighting fit Manchester man in the red pit bull. Yeah, that was nice from him. Straight one twos and wow. it put in the middle, but Soda back on him. Looping shots, big shots coming in on the face, oh. keeping his man hemmed in. I just, yeah, not giving Williams any time to sign a breathe, reset. Tried to drop the level there and force the takedown, but could have gone from the frying pan into the fire there. Yeah, he just hit that heavy hip of soda. I think he sort of realized that he wasn't going to be able to drive through that and almost accepted the uh, bottom position. And again, tying up the arms. Yeah, he got a nice few free shots off there. See, when you've got that from half guard, the bottom guy will get his arm out at some point, but you still get the free shots. You know, when he's, um, when Soda can get like perpendicular to him past the half guard, it's a lot easier to hold that, but it's always worth doing because you see he got three, four shots off then with, uh, with uh, uh, no ability for Williams to defend. So worth doing even if you're not all the way past. So I, I, I love the fact that there's no quit in Williams whatsoever. Yeah, hard left hands coming in there from Soda though. Picking up that pace of his ground and pound. He's looked, looked very good, very dominant in this one. That's Soda. Yeah, decided to slide over. Still like quarter guard position for Willens, but he's all the way past it now. See if he can look for the finish here. And to be fair, it'd be nothing less than uh, than what he's earned. It's been a really strong, dominant performance. But you know, in Williams' corner, like you say, he's had no quit. He's never be. He's never wanted to uh, to exit the fight. He's always wanted to be in it. He's just uh, just not in these positions. And yeah. That's what Soda's done so well over the three rounds is determine where this fight takes place. Yeah, he's just had his, uh, just had his number in these transitions and stuff all night, really. Trying to clear just to the side control there. Ooh. Williams, yeah, was trying to go high with that guard, threaten the triangle, but... Yeah, he's still out there and he's still throwing things up, still wants to make it work. It wasn't close, but he had the right intention. The choke might be on there, out to the back. Yeah, he sort of thinks he's got it, they're facing away from it, so I can't tell, but he's putting a big squeeze on. Ten, Ooh, seconds, ten seconds left seconds to go. Left. That's a long time when you're deep in a choke, but it's hard to tell the position. They're literally backs are facing us. He's thinking about the tap. Oh, oh. stop! Wow, a second there can't like have been a whole lot of time left in that. What a fantastic performance from the fighting fit Manchester prospect there. Wow. Thing, yeah. yeah, nothing less than he deserved after a dominant showing. That's a great finish there with just seconds left. Yeah, what oh, a win. Great Very performance impressive. from Christian Soda. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at two minutes, 59 seconds of the third round. For your winner, by submission, and fighting out of the red corner, Christian Soda!
And ladies and gentlemen, a hand of applause, please, for a very game, Jake Williams. Yeah.